Hey guys, Animal240, and first thing I'd like to say is, it is officially summer. <laughs> summer means freedom. Summer means no rules. Summer means more episodes of a day at the cinema. And a lot more. Because I don't have school and schoolwork and big projects that count for half our semester grade weighing me down. I'm free to make episodes of a day at the cinema and enjoy my summer. If you're wondering that why I said that I would be reviewing The Great Mouse Detective, this which would be this review, the second review, but I wouldn't be reviewing, but instead I'm reviewing The Rescuers Down Under now. Now it's supposed to be the third this was supposed to be the third one, and so the order got swapped. Well, it's because this on this one, um, the Minecraft Logic, um, the YouTube account, um, Alex from the Minecraft Logic, was my guest for this one. So I met with him early before this Great Mouse Detective review got finished, and I'm a little behind on the Great Mouse Detective review. So that will be the next one, and this one will be up now, obviously. And no, I did not upload a preview of it. This was kind of a last-minute decision, but whatever. Um, I finished it, and it is ready for you guys to be, ready for you guys to see. So yeah, Rescuers Down Under. I just swallow my dignity and try to review it. Not very fun to watch, let me tell you, but yeah, I'm not going to spoil anything. Why don't you guys watch the review for yourself? Hello guys, I'm Animal Two Four Zero, bringing you another episode of The Day at the Cinema. Yes, this is a completely different location than the rest of my videos, and that is because... Hey guys! I'm with the Minecraft Logic, also known as Alex from Your Options Are, and we are... Re and also, he's the Minecraft Logic, his own YouTube account, and... So, what, what, what good movie are we watching today, though? Uh, I can't exactly say it's a great movie. Okay. I can't even say it's remotely good. No, that's all right. At least I got my popcorn and my uh, my candy here. Uh, you're gonna need it to get through this. <laughs> well, you know, you're making fun of my candy, huh? Your dog. You're, you're making fun of my beautiful candy. Your dog is not candy. Anyway, do you know? What, do you want to know what movie we're watching? Yes. Okay. Or being forced to watch uh, well, Against Our Will? Okay. <laughs> yes. Well, go ahead. we have to watch The Rescuers Down Under. Darn! It's not Pokemon. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, this is real. The Rescuers actually made a sequel, as if the first one wasn't bad enough, because that one was bland and boring, and had no storyline, and just went nowhere practically the whole way through. So, this one takes place in Australia. Poor Australians are always getting crap done to them with their with stupid anime kids movies. <coughs> For golly. And, um... Yeah, this takes place in Australia, and the first part of the movie is a little kid finding the great golden eagle, Marahute, and rescuing him. What he, um, said... I'm here to help you. Easy, easy. You're free. There's just one thing I have to point out that's wrong with this scene. And what would that be? They're he they're in Australia. And this is the beginning of the movie. And he's in Australia freeing the golden eagle, and yet. There is no Australian accent. Can't you get your history right, Disney? You may think I'm drinking out of poison, but I'm not drinking out of poison. I'm drinking straight, straightforward poison because I'm afraid of what's going to happen next. No!
I will admit, this part is actually kind of cool. I see why people like this whole eagle's flight thing, because it's, like, creative. So now's the part for my popcorn? Sure. Whatever. Cool. Um... It, the special effects are pretty cool, and so is the animation, you know, as long as you don't look at Cody's derp, derpity, derp face. Luckily, I don't know. It, he's lag. the guy. The main character. Or he's not the, the guy. Main character. He's, you, the, he's the kid. He's a guy? He's the kid in the movie. He's a guy. With the derp face. I made a large mistake. You thought he was female? Seriously? Female. Okay. Same thing. <laughs> I, I, okay, I can't say I blame you. <laughs> you. You focus more on animating his face than stop making him okay. look like a derp, derp, but right, derp, his derp, shirt, derp, derp. Okay. His shorts are way too small. Uh, See, they're like this big. See, Australians always get the worst animated movies made about them. Well, I'm in Ohio, but still, what's wrong with Australians? Why can't it be Aliens? And besides... Australian people are awesome. They have, have the vines. They have Gautier. They, they have they Kimbra. Do. They do. They have Tommy Trash. They do. They have Saya. And Saya. Saya is good. And not just their musicians. Just Australia is awesome. Why do they have to get the crappiest animated movies made about them? After that unamusing commentary of, wow, derp, um, then we now, then somehow Cody falls, and then an evil poacher comes and tries to get the golden eagle and uh, sure kidnap evil, Cody. Or is he evil? Either one works. <laughs> They're the okay, same. Okay, I thought, I, thought, I thought he was the second one. Right? Sure. He's evil, not evil. You got it wrong. I've fallen, and I can't get up! Oh. Here you go. Grab on. That's great. Just a little more. A little further. There. I got it. I'm annoyed. What we get today? A dingo, a fat old razorback, or a nice big boy? Damn dumb lizards always trying to bury squirrels out here. Uh-uh, it's a trap. And poaching's against the law. Cool story, bro. You know where you should tell that? Parties, castles, other parties, frat parties, wedding showers, baby showers, libraries, uh, yeah, bar mitzvahs, uh, weddings... Sweet Sixteens, oh, he and Lindsay Lohan's release from Lindsay. jail. Anyway, after Cody's cool story, uh, we find out that, that this... quite the cool story. We find out that McLeach, this... I, guy, I wouldn't say it would be a story, I'd say it would be a novel. <laughs> we find out that McLeach... That this, it's better than The Hunger Games. And it's a better love story than Twilight. <laughs> We find out that McLeach, this evil um, hunter guy, killed the other great golden eagle, and that's the last one, and he plans on killing that one. Because humans are just evil, and all they care about is killing. Don't poach little children. You see, I already got the father. <laughs> <laughs> you just tell me where Mama and those little eggs are. I have to do a Muppets movie reference here. There's eagles in this here place, see? Sweet, sweet eagles that I can shoot, see? Mmm, maniacal laugh, maniacal laugh, ooh, maniacal laugh. What's with the popcorn? You're ruining the moment. Let's go, boy. So, then the message um, of the fact that this boy has been kidnapped because the hunter wants to know where the eagle is, he eventually, and this eventually gets to New York and uh, Bernard and Bianca from the first boring movie, find out. To my dear Bernard, 
and our wonderful partnership. Or they're just at a fancy dinner, making the plot go nowhere. Yay! Bernard and I have decided to accept the mission to Australia. Australia? Okay, oh, and I forgot, they meet this new character named Wilbur, who will f is willing to fly them to Australia. You mean um, Wilfred? No, Brimley. Wilbur. Brimley. Diabetes. <laughs> no, not the diabetes guy. Mousebetes. Uh, Wilbur, the... Albatross? I don't know. Um, who's willing to take them to Australia, but... First, I need to get that song out of my head. Who rock grooves and make moves with all the mommies? The back of the club, sipping my wet is where you find me. The back of the club. So then they finally fly off to Australia to rescue this kid and blah blah, they be freaking blah. But when you think that the movie could probably get a little better by this point because action starts coming up. Nope, Chuck Testa. It gets worse. Well, Sparky, you've had this coming for a long time. And now, you're gonna get it. Ha! Fickle duck, a lot, kookaburra, parrot, cockatoo, albatro... Alb albatro? It's, it's a jumbo. Negative one, three, you'll have to turn back. Our runway isn't long enough for a bird your size. Not long enough? Look, pal, I can land this thing on a dive. Uh, Wilbur, it... Passengers, please remain seated until the aircraft comes to a full and complete stop. Thank you. Why does he yank? I think I can do any fool thing with that regard for. Welcome to Australia, man. My name's Jake, and if there's any way I can make your stay more pleasant, don't hesitate to ask. Oh, how kind. Allow me to get that bag for you. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Uh, something's not right here. I mean, hold on. Hold up here. Okay, this Jake guy, according to Wikipedia, is a kangaroo rat, and Bianca is a mouse? I mean, so this guy, this Australian kangaroo rat, is going after a girl mouse? That doesn't make sense! They're completely different species! It does not work! Does not compute! 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 Does it work? This movie is so messed up! It's not even funny! Business! Oh, wow, does not compute. <laughs> Moving on. So, after the two completely different species meet, and the creepy Jake guy is going to, out to. because he's in love with her. You're creepy. Um. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> ironically, at the Bernard. same time, <laughs> Bernard is trying to propose to Bianca because romance is so crucial <laughs> in a stupid <laughs> mouse movie for kids. <laughs> okay, okay, calming down. So, yeah, that's happening. You know, now that we're alone, there's there's something that I've, I've been wanting to, uh, well, to to ask you. Yes. What is it? Well, it's uh, it's like this, Miss Bianca. I I would be most honored if if. Oh, yeah! <laughs> no advice for you, Mister. Not today. Miss Bianca, I've been looking all over for you. Now look, we got a long way to go, and you're gonna take us there. And you're not gonna give us any trouble about it. Right? 
I call hacks. I call hacks. 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 Because, you know what? Hacks! <laughs> this defies every law of logic in nature possible. But it doesn't defy hacks. Yet manages to also be the most stupid thing you could possibly see in a Disney movie of all time. I, I'm going to let you finish. I'm on, I'm, but th this is one of the worst videos of all time. All time. Like, like he said. They're perfectly harmless once you look them in the eye and let them know who's boss. Ain't that right, mate? Yes. It's all right, Bernard. Jake has everything under control. Yeah, I noticed. You know, Miss Bianca, truth be told, I used to be quite a dingo wrestler. Oh, yeah, of, of course, they're riding the snake that Jake decided to almost kill uh, for uh, to get to the show. To kid they're rescuing. Yeah, that's so predictable. Oh. Hey, hey. By the way, one of those frames. There's something weird about them. Play that back. We all know what that means. So eventually we leave the insanely annoying mice and go on to where Cody's been kidnapped and where the poacher is. Does this movie get any less annoying now? No, we actually get, it even gets more annoying because um, there's this new lizard named Frank according to Wikipedia. Perfect. That's just perfect. But what? I'm, you're, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm, you're leaving the review? No. You are leaving the review. What are you talking about? Be gone, evil spirit! Be gone! <laughs> what evil spirit? Be gone! Be gone, evil spirit! Wait, what's happening to me? Be gone! Be gone! Be gone, evil spirit! Be gone! Be gone! Be gone! Be You know, I'm just not gonna ask. So yes, besides Cody, in this movie, um, in the part where he's been kidnapped by the poacher, one of the other main characters of this portion is a lizard named Frank, who listening to him talk for more than five seconds could probably cause your ears to bleed or for you to go deaf. Wood, yeah, wood, 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 good. No, 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 fight me when you're free. No, no, no. Jerk my tail like this, and I turn it like this, just a quarter turn to the left, and then I push it. <sighs> yeah, he's annoying. We return to the annoying mice again, and uh, what? Well, obviously the writers didn't have any other ideas, so you know, instead of uh, letting me get back to my enjoying my summer. And having and being able to stop watching this horrible movie sooner, they, they put in this scene for whatever reason. <laughs> this isn't even funny. So yeah, this scene is completely pointless, isn't it? One eternity later. Most particular area. In other news, authorities in Mogwon Flats have called off the search for the missing boy. His backpack was found near Crocodile Falls, and local rangers believe he was yet another victim of crocodile attack. Another pointless scene! 
Again. I just, I don't want to watch this. Now he's back. <laughs> You know what? That's probably how I'm gonna react once this movie ends. Yes! I'm free! The movie's over! Yay! No more mediocre Disney! Oh, yay! Summer is here! Freedom! But it's a freedom I won't be acquiring for another... Let's see here. Oh, man! Okay. Let's just get this award so I can get the heck out of here. So then we return to the mice and... You know what? I can't even tell who's more annoying. I mean, with the mice, you know, that the, the, the mice are annoying. And then when you're or with your when you're with Cody and the poacher, you have that annoying lizard who never shuts up ever. Or uh, Cody and his little to no defining character and his derp derpity derp face that he carries around with him everywhere. I mean, this isn't even worth it. There is no time to waste. We must try to get in. Here, here, Miss Bianca, start digging. <laughs> Has anyone considered trying open sesame? Oh, well, have you or the people at Disney ever considered trying decent humor? Oh, wait, obviously, no! Oh, hey, what? Predictability. Look, Bernard, it's the boy. And McClitch. Okay, you just randomly threw a knife towards him. Why? You better get out of here before I change my mind. Go on, get it. Why is he letting him go? It's gotta be a trick. What am I watching? Wait, 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 go back to that frame. <laughs> All right, they get it. I don't know where he's going, but we can't let him get away. Hurry up, you two. Meet me, Bernard. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, after a while of this lame chase action scene, whatever you want to call it, the mice actually um, meet and talk to Cody. Uh, oh, this is going to be amusing to watch. Who are you? Well, there is no time to explain. You're in great danger. They're a whole day. They can't be. Well, actually, he really just pays no mind. Well, I guess that's not too surprising considering enough crazy weird stuff has already happened to him, so uh, why would this be any different? Talking mice. And this is all just a bad fever dream for Cody. Cody, please! You must listen! That's right, Mc McLeish is on the cliff! Help! I'm slipping! Cody, don't move! It's okay. Soon I'll wake up and get out of this crazy dream. So, it turns out they all wind up getting kidnapped by McLeach. Except for Bernard, who's apparently going to attempt to save them. They're goners. He can't do anything. He's a mouse. Cue that little title card that says the end now. Alright, no. It's not the end of the movie, but I seriously wish it was. But at least we only have ten more minutes of suffering. 
and physical and mental pain because this movie can actually actually manages to be physically painful to watch. You don't know Bernard like I do. He'll never give up. Have you forgotten he's a mouse? Yeah, he's not gonna make it. Um, um. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, no. Unfortunately, that's not the end of the movie either. Now, look, I've got a long way to go. You're gonna take me there, and you're not gonna give me any trouble about it, right? Good. Now, get. Last part of this movie. <laughs> so, as you'd expect, they rescue Cody and Mayahute and then beat the bad guys, as you'd expect. But wait! <laughs> There's more! This movie isn't over yet because something that was happening earlier in this movie that I hated so much hasn't been resolved yet. Want to take a guess as to what that is? You probably already know. Miss Bianca, will you marry me? Ugh. Of course I will. Ow! Well done, mate. No! 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 no. If you're wondering why I was so upset about that scene, no, it's not necessarily because of the mm, proposal part, because I'd much rather they get married than uh, Bianca and that cr creepy Jake guy. But, however, right now, because of that scene, I fear the worst. I fear that because it doesn't actually show them getting married and their life after and all that stuff, they're going to make another Rescuers, and I would not be looking forward to that. I mean, there are clues, such as this, and the fact that they're apparently going to make a Blu-ray collection of both movies. Um, this image got leaked. So, yeah, I'm kind of fearing the worst right now, and I'm sincerely hoping that that doesn't happen, but I feel like considering that would be considered a cliffhanger, then that probably will happen. They're probably going to make a third one. I s but I'm not going to look forward to that. Anybody! Bernard! Bianca! Where are you? Okay, that's it. I'm out of here. This is ridiculous. Oh, wait. I forgot there was a hidden scene after the credits. Stay in those eggs. That's a direct order. Oh. Hey. You're kind of a cute little feller. Coochie, coochie, coochie. Whoa! The secret has been revealed. As much as I really don't want to say this, yeah, they're gonna be making a third one. Seriously, can't you tell? I mean, there's the two cliffhanger en endings, one with the m proposal that never gets carried out further because it's the end of the movie, and the other with the eggs hatching and Wilbur well, being abandoned in Australia. The fact that they're releasing a Blu-ray package of both already made Rescuers movies in the this summer, which is great. That's a great thing to add to my summer when I'm just trying to enjoy it like a normal kid. Even though I'm not exactly the most normal of kids, but still I want to enjoy summer like a normal kid. And also, it's got, these Rescuers movies have gotten the, quite a large rise in popularity, especially this one down under. This seems to actually be more popular. Go on YouTube, Disney fans are glorifying it, and it keeps, pl and the, both Rescuers movies keep playing on Disney Channel for some reason. Like, when they play, like, classic Disney movies, these movies get played a lot. 
I'm afraid, but it's probably true. And of course, the last thing I have to do is check out what movie I'm reviewing next. Lay it on me. I'm Animal 250. I hate doing a day at the cinema. Bye. <laughs>